may help you. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Skyrim. Waba Jack Lost Legacy. This is Hill. And I just want to talk a little bit before we begin our adventure or resume our adventure um, about a concern that I have with the mod. And, you know, it's this um, the skill trees that I have up here. They are using, um, I believe, what they call Volcrenator, I believe, where you have the Volcri uh, skills and the Ordinator skills. These these trees are merged together, and you just have this huge amount of of perks that you can select. But the problem is, even though you can level up your skills, like you know hiring a, a trainer you know paying uh to level up and there's the, the skill uncapper mod is a part of this mod list too so that there's no cap when you purchase skills because in in vanilla you could only level up or buy five skills and then you would have to you know level up again uh, in order to buy five more skills. But with this, if you have the gold, you can just, you know, level up. The sky's the limit. I mean, you could, you know, in one sitting, do all 100 levels of these different perks. So it's easy, you know, to get the experience to move these, these, uh, skill trees forward and like you even have the um practice dummies that you can hit those and you can level up your one-handed your two-handed your blocking your archery so it, it's just so easy to do but the problem is you don't have the perk points to put in here i don't think this was thought through carefully how you would manage these huge skill trees i mean i think there is something in here that gives you like two perks every so many levels two perk points every so many levels um and there are other mods out there that like give you 50 percent more perk points and whatnot but you know it's not in here and that really needs to be added, you know, going forward. I mean, any any mod author that's going to use these huge perk trees really needs to have something in the game that allows you to generate the perk points needed to fill out these trees. Now, there is something that you can do in Lost Legacy, and that is the Sky Shards. With the Sky Shards, you can configure that so that every three Sky Shards you collect, you can get four perk points. Now, I didn't know that when I first started playing, so I'm kind of behind. But, you know, now every three um, Sky Shards that I get, I do get the four perk points. So I'm thinking I'm going to refund that amount of, uh, of perk points that I should have gotten had I known there was this this perk deficit, you know, in the way that this game is um, designed, uh, you know, when I started, had I known that, you know, I wasn't going to be able to generate the perk points, I would have gone ahead. And let me just show you. You have a book called the Sky Shards Configurator. And this is what lets you, you know, do the various things with the beacons and all that kind of stuff. But it's in here that you can actually tell it that, you know, every three Sky Shards that you discover, you get for four perk points. So, had I known, I would have started the game with it configured to four because it's just I'm I'm not cutting it. I mean I'm leveling up all my skills, but I don't have perk points to put in it. 
in these skill trees. And I know there's also another way with, um, I think, the Dragon Souls. Um, you can convert those into uh, perk points, but in my playthrough, you know, the, the dragons and all that kind of stuff are, are really not, I mean, he, he's not dragonborn. So I may have to make him dragonborn in order to get more perk, perk points, but I do want to acknowledge that there are some things in this mod list that do give you perk points, but it's still, it's just not enough. Maybe if I had started out with four for every three sky shards, that, that may have worked out. So, what I'm going to do, eventually, I don't know, it could be in this playthrough or the next one, I'm going to give myself the perk points that I did not get by configuring the sky shard. So I did the math and from when I set it to four perk points, uh, going back, I'm missing 20 perk points. So I'm going to add that in here so I can fill out some of these, these trees because it's, you know, I'll be done with the game. I mean, if, if you just left it bare bones with no sky shards and no other way of boosting your perk points, you would barely be able to fill out any of these these trees. I, I don't I don't know. It's just something that I don't think was considered and you know I'm sorry if I'm <laughs> if I'm being too critical about this. But I just I just wanted to point point this out that um, you know those mod authors that use these huge skill trees you know, please give us a way to, to generate the perk points to fill them out. Okay, so the last thing is that I've changed EMBs because I'm sure you have heard me complaining about how dark it is um, in the interiors, the nights, all that kind of stuff. So what I was using was the culminated EMB and that was a change from the, the Pichu, Paichu, Machu Picchu. I don't know what you, how you want to call it. But it was a change from the original Pichu uh, ENB, which was vibrant as can be and you know, very good looking. But that was even darker than the culminated. So I switched from Paicho to culminated. Culminated was still too dark. So now we are using the performance cathedralist fantasy ENB and you know I I have looked at several environments and they are much brighter like right now I'm not using candlelight or my lantern um, and we're here at home at the Elysium Estates so it's a huge huge change and it's much needed I mean I'm telling you Again, mod authors, there are people that, you know, like to record these adventures on YouTube. And when it's too dark, it makes it, you know, hard for our viewers and even ourselves playing the game to be able to see. So it, it, I would be just grateful that brightness would be something considered when you're choosing an EMB you know at least at least a choice I mean you can have the darkness for the, the people that like the dark dungeons and the dark scary nights but then for people that YouTube give us the brightness so that, that we and our viewers can see what's going on all right well I think that is enough of my complaints and criticisms and I do apologize but I, I love this this mod list though I don't want it to be misconstrued this is a really great mod list and I highly recommend it if you can get it tailored to the way you like it then you know that you can live with and I think I'm just about there so we've got the ENB conquered for now I've got my way around the uh the perk points that I need and we are going to continue with our adventures right 
Oh, wait, one more thing. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for the likes uh, on the videos. It is it just makes a world of difference. If you if you like the video, more people are, are watching it. The views are up and I really appreciate it. If you uh, could continue to like the videos whenever you watching, just just hit that like it, it does. It just does so much uh, for the growth of the channel. And I just appreciate it immensely. All right. I have talked more than enough. So now we will begin our adventure right after this. I can't believe I'm actually walking through these halls without candlelight or a lantern. And I can see. Oh, this is great. Codlack. I've been looking for you. Uh-huh. So, you... wanted to see me? Yes, youngling. Have a seat. Uh-oh. You know, I've been doing a lot of work... I around Skyrim. I busy of late. Yes. I work for the honor of the Companions. Lad, I know what you've been up to. Really? Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. Okay. But this sneaking around... I haven't been sneaking not the around. not warriors of your standing. Aella knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard oh, really? the story of how we came to be werewolves? Uh, well, Skior said it was a blessing from her scene. Aye, that sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. So what's the truth, then? The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Moral Coven. If the Companions would hunt in the name of their Lord Hirsin, we would be granted great power. And they became werewolves. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. But aren't you more powerful now? The witches didn't lie, of course. But it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. What? Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing it more sound than to so chase bad. prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Okay, so is there a way to cure yourself? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. I don't wish to remove this blessing. It gives me an advantage in my fight against vampires. This is not about your desires, lad. Your own fate will be your own choice, just as always. Now be gone. Hmm. All right, very well. Okay, sounds like we're hunting witches now. Let's go. Uh-oh. What is it? What is it? Admiring those 
Beautiful, uh, sun rays. What's this? Who are these people? These are vi why are the vigilant They say Skyrim belongs these, to the These must be um the hunters they know that um I'm a werewolf and they came after me Too bad. <laughs> but I say it belongs to whoever has the biggest hammer. So, Gore, how do you like that new quarter staff? I thought so. Come on. Bigger and it does more uh, fire damage. Along with that new armor. Get her, Russia. What else? There's something else in here. A spider, get it. She comes. She knows we're here. The beast is returned. She had vampire dust. Chest key. All right, that's two of them. Uh-oh. 
call that for a skeever. Come on, let's go all this way. Wait, I think I just passed. Yeah, come on this way. This way. So that's what the key was for. Oh, look at this, an ebony trident. When I was in the dungeon, a bunch of the guards used to torture the prisoner in a cell. Still here. All right, I know you're going to want to use this trident, but I'm going to have to take it. What do you want me to carry? Lead on. shrine of her scene. I still can't change deities. You would think her scene would want me. What is this? Oh, it's the book. Ah, oh, it's destruction. Okay, I think that was all four. We rushed in here and killed him all so quick. I like I lost count. Oh no, I think there might be one more. way? See, I thought we did. No, we didn't. Get up.
There we go. Yep, see, look at you using the trident. Seed of Life sends a poison bolt at the target, causing 96 damage. How much? We can sell that. Take the head. Human flesh. Huh. Okay, now I'm sure we killed all. Wow. Oh, we killed all of them. Let's go. All right, well, it is dark. Let's see, I should have my lantern, yes. Okay, come on. Just when I thought things were gonna be brighter. Look at the Gilder Green. Wow. It's amazing to think that a little bit of sap can bring a huge tree like that back to life. What's going on? I ain't done nothing. Oops, God. Want to hear a little Nord wisdom? No. You don't really know a woman until you have a strong dream. What's happened? So these two aren't the problem. I finally had the nerve to attack your bastard. What? We got most of them. The silver hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your bastard. We got most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. Look at them with their silver weapons. The silver hand. They finally had the nerve to attack your bastard. We got most of them, but I think a few stragglers made it out. Okay. These two aren't a problem anymore. Where have you been? What do you mean? What, what happened here? One of the fiercest battles I've ever seen. Oh, I'm sorry, I the missed it. Hand. The they silver hand. They finally found enough courage to attack Yorvaskar. We fought them off, but the old man, Kotlak, he's dead. What? No. He sent me on an errand, but was anyone else hurt? No. But they made off with all our fragments of Wuthrad. What? Wuthrad too? But you and I are going to reclaim them. Uh, okay. We will bring the battle to their chief camp. There will be none left living to tell their stories. Only songs of Yorvaskar will be sung. We will avenge Kodlak. And they will know terror before the end. This isn't the armor he was wearing. Well, this must be his battle armor. I can't search him. Farkas. Aethis. All right. Mm, it's not even working. I thought some of my divine powers might come in handy here. 
it's far too late. All right, Vilkas. Let's get ready to bring the fight to the Silver Hand.